Well, it's like anything. You learn a language. I mean, if you're going to go to France, you better know how to speak French, basically. If you're going to do motor carrier work, especially involving, you know, trucks and especially interstate trucking, you've got to know the language. The Federal Motor Carrier Safety Regulations, you've got to know those inside and out. The other thing is you have to know the requirements that these trucking companies have. They have to keep logs. You wouldn't believe how often we find they, yeah, they got a log all right, and it's all fake. And sometimes they have two sets of logs. You know, these drivers are caught in a rock and a hard place. You're kidding yourself if you don't think their bosses are putting pressure on them to get that product from point A to point B fast. Now, they'll put out something in writing, you know, don't speed. But these trucking companies know they're speeding. And if they looked at their logs, they can see they're speeding. It's very easy to calculate how you got from L.A. to, to New York City with produce, you know but not if you're not looking at the right logs. And they, they do this all the time. You have to speak that language. You also have to be able to calculate time and distance. I'll give you an example. It takes your brain about a second to tell your foot to hit the brake. If you're going 60 miles an hour, you're traveling 90 feet a second. You can calculate how fast you travel in that one second. And that allows you to recreate the accident. We've handled hundreds and hundreds of these kinds of cases. We speak the language. We've interviewed hundreds and hundreds of highway patrol troopers, and we know how to present these to the juries. And we have done as many or more of those cases in our career. Between the two of us, Mike and I have about 100 years of experience doing so. And, you know, practice makes perfect.